Hello everyone, welcome back to ETS2, which is European Truck Simulator. Today we're using Vipers 389 Custom over here on ETS2. We're still on 1.6 over here. The beta has the least over here. We're using a CAD engine in this truck. One thing I want to tell you about this truck is you can see in the front it is raining. When it rains, the chrome does that in the front. I don't know what the issue is with that, but it does do that. It is a modded truck. We got a Cat C15 in it with 18 speed eating full of transmission. We're also using the 359 headlights on this truck today. So let's go on the road. We got 254 miles to go. And like I said, we're in ETS2. We're hauling salt and spice. I, I tried to record this earlier and it crashed, so I had to go through and look at the mods and stuff, so hopefully I'll run a couple of runs with it, hopefully right. we won't have that problem. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. So that one's doing well. Hope everyone's been enjoying the videos. Uh, probably the, the last LS3 video I've done, guys. I'm probably going to remove it. I did watch it. It's not very good. There is some audio issues. I don't know what happened. I don't know why there's so many audio issues with it. So I'm probably going to remove it. I don't know yet. Go straight on. And happy Easter Day one that's uh, watching this video. And then turn left. This video was would, would be done on Easter. Turn left. I don't play ETS too much. I always play the American version. I don't play this over here too much. But using Viper's truck, I don't mind it. I'm not very fond of these European trucks. You gonna let us out? I do believe we gotta get on the ferry and go up to our delivery. And we'll have to get a thumbnail. I have moved over to the beta for, for ATS, checking out the beta. I am going to do a video on it. I was having some issues with the ATS trucks with the windows not loading in. I don't, I don't know what the issue was. Um, you couldn't see it. The window would let, you could hear it, but you wouldn't to see it. But finally it started working. If uh, you don't know, anyone don't know this truck, this is Vipers 389 Custom. This is a modded truck. You can get this truck on the workshop. It is on the workshop over here for um, ETS2 also. It's a really good done mod. Very high quality. Now let's go ahead and get a thumbnail right here. It may get dark on us. So 
Let's go ahead and get us a thumbnail. Yeah, I don't know why that chrome does that on this truck in the uh, when it rains, but it, it that is the issue with this mod. I believe Viper is probably trying to figure out what's going on with it itself. Okay. Come on. Why are you working? Come over. Over a little bit more. I'm trying to get over that guard rail there. And down a little bit. That'll be good. Probably one of the main reasons why it was probably crashing over here. Cause like I said, I don't play this as much as I do the, the other one. And I had some mods in here from... January of last year, so, you know, that was probably a, a issue. I did go through and clean out the mod list, so... Now, I do know that Viper has already updated this truck for, e for ATS. Well, uh, for 1.7, 1.37, uh, I'm not using it currently. It is not available yet on the workshop. He won't update that until it fully goes into out of beta, that version of the game. You can download it on certain mod sites. He does uh, put it over there on certain sites. So if you go and you try to get it on the workshop, it's not there yet. You're going to get the old version, which is this one here. You're going to notice the windows don't work in this one. And guys, too, let me know if you want to see more of ETS, too, over here. There's not a lot of these American trucks over here, but, uh, um, be happy to run them, you know. There's a few on the workshop, and there's a few that you see get, uh, released over here. Alright guys, I had to cut the mic off for just a minute. Oh, we need to turn that map off. It's 197 miles. I, I almost forgot about that turn that map off. Keep left, and then continue straight off. Go straight on. Um, I did record another episode, another video of Redemption 2. Probably gonna be posting it. I don't, you know, I'm gonna see how it turns out. Um, I did beat Resident Evil 3. 
If you want to see Resident Evil 3 on the channel, I can play it. Straight on. Again. Record it. This is how I did not record it. Um, I am going to play Resident Evil 2 again because of the storyline. We're speeding. Still at 50. Or maybe it says 56. I think it's 50. I had to say though, I do like the engine sound of 1.7. There's been a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I, I do like it. I think the trucks sound very well. There's, all, there's already a lot of modded right. engines out there that's been updated. Exit right. A lot of them has already been updated. Exit right. Well, I hate it for you. We're we'll going through. Turn it back on for a full minute. Oops. Hit the wall. These roads are not really meant for a truck like this. We are coming, we're coming free. It'd be neat if they run back to the cars, get in the cars and took us like you What are you doing on to our roadblock? I think we're out of it now. I think there's more lighting on these roads and these expressways and stuff there is in ATS. These roads are more lit up. I think that this truck has a cat engine in it, guys. I, I decided to go with a cat engine this time. and It actually sounds pretty good. I mean, this is actually not a bad sounding cat engine. Oh, what did we hit? Uh oh. Well, this is new. You don't have this issue in an ATS, you can just go through, go right through it. There we go. I don't know what we hit, there wasn't nothing there. Right, and then exit right. Having 
Actually, not a problem with pull, that's new. Exit right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go uh, around the world for a detour when I'm trying to record. I'm not gonna do that. So I hope everyone's staying well. Hope everyone is, uh, you know, staying at home if you can. I didn't know there's a lot of people out there now that has lost. It's not working because of this virus, and I understand that. We got a hundred and four miles to go. Got a lot of detours tonight. Yeah, I hope everyone, like I said, is staying well. I hope um, that uh, everything is alright. If you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell for notifications on when I do post stuff. Been trying to get here and post more. Um, LSPDFR will be coming back. I've had a few little issues that I had to deal with, and it is it is running. Just still on some other things. I'm actually trying to find some newer car packs. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the car pack that I'm using. It's a great car pack, and I've been using it, and I use it a lot. But I don't want something that has uh, you know. There's nothing against 2020s, you know, but. Protector issues, I, I can't use them. Because of texture. Because I, use, I do Port Authority and um, Airport Police, and there's just not no textures out there for those departments. For these new vehicles. But I highly do recommend this truck, guys. If you use a lot of modded trucks and you like a fitter belt like this, um, I highly do recommend this truck to anyone that plays these, these, these two games. This is a great mod. This is a great mod right here. Viper's done a, an excellent job with this truck in keeping it up. Drone button. We'll go ahead and leave that up. We got about 60 miles. We'll 
little bit different playing ETS over ATS. Like it's, uh, the roads are a lot different. They're not really designed for a truck like this. Go straight on. Also guys, I do have uh, Outlaws 379 Custom over here on the ETS-2. Anyone wants to see that, uh, let me know. Because like, we can buy one of them and run it. Oh, oh, we hit him. Well, we had an accident. Hey, dude, you all right? Come on, if you all right, let's go. You know, you pull right, right out in front of us. I couldn't stop. Well, if you're going to sit there, we'll go right. I think they use the AI from GTA for this game. Because sometimes they act like the AI from GTA in this game. Yeah, I know, they were expecting a load, we're almost there. That's one feature that I can say that you can turn off in 1.7. Use that music.
ready to turn right. Turn right and then turn left. Turn left. I don't know why we're taking salt and spices here. Okay. You have arrived at your destination. Your wrap guidance is now finished. Alright, they want it right back here in that corner. Hey guys, see you can see the rain stop. There's nothing wrong with the, with the grill and all this right now. Yeah, there's something about the rain that uh, it makes it do that. I do like the sound of that cat engine. That's a good sign of cat engine. Okay. Some of those cat engines sound terrible, but that new sounds good. Like I said, we're using the uh, 359 headlights on this truck. It has the LED, it has the LED feature. Alright, we drove excellent. We drove 284 miles. It took us 6 hours and 62 minutes to get here. We consumed 45.6 gallons of fuel. And we're going to find out the load. Some hay. That's too far. Too far. 400 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles, plastic bottles, some furniture, we'll do Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Just want to get in here and do some ETS 2. Hadn't done a video over here in ETS 2 in a while. Haven't been playing it. I need to get in and play it more. Um, once again, we are using Vipers 389 Custom over here. This truck can be found on the on the workshop for, e, for ETS and ETS 2. He has it on both workshops. And when it does update, he does post it on multiple sites when it does update. Now this one has not been updated for 1.7 because the beta has just now come out about three days ago for ETS2 for 1.7 beta. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good day.